Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'm just going to go through uh, something quite basic. I've been asked a fair few times. Um, so what we're going to do is show you how to knock off the seatbelt warning. As you can see there. We're going to knock that off so it doesn't kind of buzz anymore. Um, so we'll start off by pairing it to the vehicle. This is a BMW X3 20. 11 if I'm not mistaken so we'll pair it up have the ignition on it's been a while since I've done it this is the Hotel Ultra Light you'll need to pair this up I can't remember if I needed the cable the USB I'm sure I do but let's just first pair it all up So once we're on this, we'll go into programming. Uh, it's going to tell us what we need to do or not. It'll, well, it's best if you do, but I never really do, to be fair. Um, it's to pair up with um, a trickle charge or whatever it is, just to make sure the battery is at the right voltage. So 12 and a half plus, I think it is, or 13 and a half, I can't remember, but it tells you on here. But I never do anyway, just let the engine run until the point it tells you to just have the ignition on. That's what I tend to do, and uh, it'll be fully charged in that in that sense. But if you're doing a you know a long programming that's going to take hours and hours, then I highly recommend you you know um, you put it on charge because uh, it will drain the battery, and then the programming will not be successful. But if you're doing like a the two minute job like I am, then just leave it as is. So connect USB. Yep. So that's what we need to do. So. Guys. I have done this now, um, and as you can see, that's the wiring. It says connect to the uh, internet, so I'm going to connect to my Wi Fi and connect it to my uh, phone. So it's on phone, we'll hit OK. Um, and da -da -da, we'll do this a month, OK. Now it's always best as well if you back this up, uh, which is, which I recommend anyway, uh, before doing anything. Uh, so it's always to do, do a backup, save it at least. If you do mess up, at least you can go back to it at any point. So as you can see, it's still on. Obviously I've not put my seatbelt on. We're on this now, just, they're the all individual codes for it. So we'll hit OK. They're the things that's can install onto this car, so in terms of spec wise. And then we'll wait another minute or so. So we're on this now. Hit OK, it's gonna go through all the modules and the network data that's gonna go through my mobile. It's turned it off itself, I've not done anything. It's paired up to the internet again. Completed now here. In a second, we're going to the correct section. So, were units replaced? No. Even if they were, I'd still say no for the sake of this. Um, car key memory. And then, do the backup. I do recommend it, guys. Do the backup. It's worth it for you. I'm not going to do it because I know what I'm doing. Well, that's what they say. Well, internet's automatically connected again it's going to go through it it'll take a minute or so if you've worked on the car before it should be quite quick boom on it but if you ha if it's the first time you've used this machine on this car it will take a minute or so here it is warning us telling us the risks um can't remember which one it is let me just flick through them again oh here we are so it was that one seatbelt warning duration okay I'll leave that one because we're going to blank it all. Driver seat by reminder. Hit that. Okay. Inactive. So it's not going to go off in a second, but passenger seat belt. Inactive. Driver seat belt status. So that, that is literally that red warning, which is going to absolutely do your red in if you are driving at night, especially. So we'll inactivate that. It's not going to go off yet until we hit the next step. Uh, front passenger seat belt status display. Again, that 
is going to also annoy you because it's not going to tell you and it's going to come up without warning. Inactive, inactive, inactive. Du, du, du. Car washing mode, I don't need that. So let's turn the ignition off. The ignition on. Hit OK. And there are the things we are going to deactivate. There's a lot of other features as well, which I'm going to go into actually. I'm going to upgrade the headlights. When I say upgrade, I'm going to make the laser beam, as in the light, lightness, the brightness, or whatever you want to call it, the brightness of the headlights. And these are Xenon, by the way. I'm going to brighten this up to the 255%, and the rears as well brightened up. Um, I'll show you that in a sec after this as well. So it's still doing its stuff, and obviously we've still got that on. Okay, so... We shall give it a minute or so. There we go, successful. Uh, yes, it is still on, obviously. So we are going to come back out of this. Okay, so what I would recommend is turning it off. Sometimes it stays on for a minute or so, even if you... Um, so let's just turn. It should knock itself off automatically after a bit. Sometimes it's instant, sometimes it isn't, but. Da, da, da. So everything's done on here. So if we come back out of it, so come back out of it and boom, it's knocked itself off. And as you can see, no seat belts on, I'm on. There you are. So if we turn it off, it will come on um, just for your like. For your sake and boom it turns off straight away so that's how you do it now the other thing that i said i was going to show you is the headlights now if i remember rightly it's in the common functions and passenger rear so let's have a look um well it wasn't that lighting i think that's i don't know is it that is it not here it is brightness daytime running light 100 percent um so 50 to 100 you can't thing is when you put manually it says 255 now 255 will go for it that's going to be extreme oh, what did i do out of range sorry let's go back on this time on your light so these are the o-rings by the way this is a like i said this is a xenon headlight 255 <clears throat> okay Okay, so that's that. Um, there's another. Try to think where it'll be. To be fair, I'll find it in a second. I'm sure I will. There's exactly the same as that, but for the headlights. That was successful. Good news. I'm not going to bore you too much, but it looks. I can't seem to find it. I it may even be that one that I've done, but usually there's another one as well, which is for the rear brake lights, um, which you can also like. Brightness, but it looks like it doesn't give us the option in this case. But I'm sure you'll see it on my other videos. Some cars you get some options, some you don't. But that's how you do it. Any questions, any anything like that, guys? By all means, comment below. But please bear with me because I get probably over 30 40 messages. You know, comments. Sorry, and besides the messages I get on on Facebook and whatnot, um, and I try and reply back to everybody as much as I can. But there you are. Enjoy.